What is going on guys? How are we all doing? So today we are going to be taking a look at a little RTA. It is the Blotto RTA by Sam, the Vaping Bogan and also Dothpo. What we're going to do in today's video, we are going to drop it down to the table. We are going to go through the package and we're going to have a little closer up look at the tank and the things that come with the tank. And um, we're then going to throw a build in it. I've got a single coil in the purple one. And I have got a dual coil in the grey one. And we're going to see how I wick them, how I build them, and what makes what what. So, without further ado, I'll see you all on the table in just a little second. Look at me, it's Bobo 2 Vapes. So, it is time for the table camera section of the Dovpo and Vape and Bogan Blotto RTA. So, this is the box that the actual device comes in. Nothing special, usual kind of packaging that you see for most RTAs this day, these days. And you've got a little cutout there for your actual device. Inside that box, you do get a Dovpo warranty card, QC approved. You do get a Blotto RTA user manual. Which is quite in short and sweet and it's not in a million languages, which is different to see, to be honest with you. You do get a bag of spares and you get a couple of spare grub screws, a couple of O-rings and a little tri-tool thing, which is decent. You also get this, which is a beer bottle opener and a coil trimming tool, which to be honest with you, I've never used as a coil trimming tool. But I've used it as a beer bottle opener a couple of times, which is... Handy. <laughs> You'd also get this box as a free gift if you are in the UK, which most of my subscribers are. You also get a bubble glass, a clear glass bubble glass, which holds 6 millilitres of e-liquid, and a ultimate bubble glass, which also holds 6 millilitres of e-liquid. And it kind of looks like nicotine-stained fingers. Um, and then, of course... You actually get the start of the show. This is the actual Blotto tank. It is a really nice little piece of kit. Really nice piece of kit. So we'll work from the top and go to the bottom. And we'll go through everything that's inside here. So. The very top you get a 810 goon style drip tip. Which is actually quite a nice drip tip. It's just a little bit of Ultim, which I'm not that into Ultim drip tips really, but with that nice purple band around it, it's pretty nice to be fair. You get the top, the 810 catch cup, with a nice O ring on the inside, and this does fit pretty much all other drip tips. Like this is the one that we've been using in it mostly. It's a nice little drip tip. Fits nice and snug, and I can't get it out. That's how snug it fits. The fill ports. Nice little half turn. You've got a big, 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 beefy O-ring on there just to keep everything intact and in place and leak-proof. You've got two big kidney bean-shaped fill ports, which is good to see. And you get, obviously, a little locking mechanism on here. Just a little quarter of a turn just to get your top cap on and off. Work down, we've got this glass. Got a little bit of branding on the inside, which we'll have a little more of a close-up in a second. On the bottom here... You get your airflow controller. It's a nice little bit dirty, this, isn't it? On the bottom, you get your airflow controller. And you get a lot of one millimeter punched holes all the way around there. And you get them the same on the other side. And it is has a locking mechanism, so you can only completely open it. Or you can only completely close it. You can't spin it round. Which also makes for it easier to get off. You also get here, and I never mentioned before. On the top and bottom loads of paint chipped off this it's the paint quality is not that great um on the top and on the bottom you get these grooves cut into it and it kind of looks like a beer bottle which obviously it's the bogan it's probably you know it's exactly what he went for he's a bit of a piss head we all know that um to get in we'll have a look at the bottom we've got the blotto rta we've got the vape and bogan the skull and cross mods logo there on the bottom Got the Dovpo logo there, seeing it here, you've got Vape and Bogan signature, and you've got the serial number, which is 3,649. No, that's 30,649, which is, fuck me, they've made a lot of them. I wonder if that's just the purple ones, or if that is 
the Blotos, because surely it's the same tank that they make and they just spray it different colours in it. Fucking hell, that's a lot of Blotos. So to get in to the build deck, it's a nice little bit of tension on them screws. It's not too stiff, not too weak. We'll have a look at the deck first. No, we won't. We'll have a look at the chimney first. So you've got a nice condensed little chimney there, a little bit of doming, well quite a lot of doming, which we know to be renowned for really good flavour. This camera focus is going everywhere. Got real good machining on the insides of the bell cap. And it's made out of stainless steel, I think. It's not the thickest stainless steel, but it is stainless steel, and I've not really noticed any issues with it. Got a nice big beefy O-ring there, because... I've had no issues with man whatsoever. I am not 100% sure if they've had a version 2 or a version, like a quick update, but I did see on the very early reports and when peep this tank first came out that you couldn't hold your glass on with that. But to me, that took a lot to actually knock it off and I thought I just broke it. But I never, so you get a nice big O-ring here and that keeps everything on and intact and you obviously get a little bit of branding on there. The build deck, it's quite interesting. It's a raised GTA style platform. It's got, it looks a little bit like the recurve kind of, looks a little bit like the Kylan too. It's not too bad, you know what I mean? But, let me pop this down and we'll have a little bit of a closer up on this. So, you've got two big juice ports just here and here. So we've got two big juice ports just here and here. It's got a little drop down to feed your wicks into. You've got four posts on either side and you've got two flat head screws on either side as well. Nice bit of peak insulation just on there and on the other side. So how this works, I think it's a positive and a positive and a negative and a negative. I think that's how it works. Because if you do want a single coil this, you do have to put it in on one side and fold it over. It's not a cross straddle kind of situation. So I think... I think this is your positive, and then this is your positive, and this is your negative, and then this is your negative. I'm not 100% sure. But you've got a lot of insulator up on this side here as well, which is insulating. <laughs> it's absolutely insulating. Um, on the bottom here, you've got these big slots to reduce the airflow down a little bit. And you also get these holes here punched into the side of either side of this, which also reduce the airflow a little bit and give it a little bit more of a smoother kind of pull but that is three lots of airflow restriction on this tank it's gonna massively affect the restrictiveness on it it is gonna give you a very tight um not a mouth to lung a very tight direct to lung pull on it so i'll have take the zoom back out a little bit So, I'll show you what the tank looks like with the straight glass. Which you've already seen before, anyway. So, there it is with the straight glass. Nice, tall, looks quite elegant. You've got the nicotine fingers glass, which actually looks quite nice, to be honest with you. It's also a little bit of a struggle to get onto the top there. There it is with that glass. It actually really does look quite nice, to be honest. I think I do prefer that than the glass glass. Also, And this is my other one, which I have been running. It's the gunmetal one. And I've been running that with the bubble glass, just in case you wanted to see what the actual glass looked like on the gunmetal one as well. So, that is pretty much everything with this. That I can go through. What is left to do now? Show you how to build it, show you how to win it. Denied
Welcome back up top, guys. Welcome back up top. So, the build quality on this tank. The build quality is absolutely solid. I've had no issues. All the O-rings are in the right places. All the tolerances off the O-rings are really right. I like the tolerance on the top cap. I like the tolerance on the airflow controller. I've got no issues there whatsoever. I have seen in a lot of groups, I've seen a couple of reviews where the airflow controller gets completely stuck on some kits um, and that the threading and the o-ring on the top doesn't work properly. Now I've got two of these tanks and I've not noticed any of those issues whatsoever so either um, the earlier versions, the first versions that came out were a little bit dodgy, either that or the stainless steel. Might have just been a little bit dodgy, so I'm not too sure. Hopefully, that's been updated all across the board, and I've not just been quite lucky with them. The top fill is absolutely awesome. You've got two big, wide open, kidney shaped um, fill ports, which have got no issues whatsoever. They're nice and wide open, so you can just dunk your juice in there, and it's not going to bubble out or anything like that, which is absolutely brilliant. Um. The airflow controller is a little bit small. It is a little bit of a little bit tricky to see how much airflow you've got actually got in there. Um, it's not as bad as like what was it was it the profile RDA. I couldn't see that whatsoever. I couldn't see how much airflow I had open. This is a little bit better, but you do kind of have to open the hold it up to the light a little bit just to see how much airflow you've got in there. If you can't just like adjust it on the fly. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, so, there's a couple of issues with this tank. There is quite a couple of issues from my perspective anyway. Um, I know Sam did say this in his video, um, that the, it's not designed fully for a 3mm coil. You can get 3mm coils in there, but you can't fully fit them in there. Now, I don't use fancy coils, really. I don't use high-end coils. I generally use things like that, things like that, because that is what the majority of people use, because I do sell a lot of them in the shop. So it gives you the kind of performance that your average general everyday vapor is going to use, who doesn't really fancy spending like a tenner on a set of coils where you can get a whole box of them for like, a tenner, do you know what I mean? Yet the quality on them isn't as great as like, I don't know, say like Chris Grimes or um, Opium Coils or any of the decent coil builders out there. I completely lost, forgot all the names of the coil builders. But yeah, them coils are really good, but they are expensive and a lot of people don't use them. They either use their own made coils or they use these little wheel packs I have noticed from like two and a half years vape shop experience. But... So that's why I use a lot of them. But the issue with a lot of them coils is that they are pretty much all 3mm coils. So to t take one of those coils from 3mm to a 2.5mm, you've got to stretch it out. You've got to then rewrap it, which in itself is fairly easy if you know how to do it. If you're not too sure how to do it, it becomes a little bit of an ordeal, to be honest. So... That is a bit of a con. Um, and the fact that they don't include coils inside the boxes are also a little bit of a con, to be honest, because, yeah, it does take 3mm in a diameter, but if you've got, like, a big, fat alien coil, that, that's going to be, like, 3.5, 4mm in diameter. Two of them on the outside, like, diameter on the outside, the circumference, that's the one. That's going to be well too big to fit into these, so to, like, then rewrap them into, like, 2 and a halfs. There should be two and a half millimeter coils inside the box just a fuse clapped and all something like that just so we can get the experience of it straight away how it was intended to be used um the wicking on it is really quite easy to be honest with you the, it's pretty foolproof you've got the raised kind of system with the gta deck that is pretty easy all you do is just trim it down break it out a little bit and just stick them with just like a little millimeter I don't know if you can see that properly. Just a little bit of a millimetre hanging down. And same with the single coil. With the single coil, 
I do like to run a three and a half millimeter coil inside there, um, and I do find that it works fine. Four millimeter might be a little bit better if you're not as confident with your wicking skills. Four millimeter is sound as well, but I do prefer the three and a half millimeters in there personally. And as I say, the wicking of it is pretty foolproof. Um, three lots of restriction on it. Like you've got restriction on the actual airflow controller. You've got restriction on the bottom underneath the coils, and then you've got the restriction on the two things coming up there. The airflow controller and the little pointy bits, they're both honeycombs, and like and then you've got the slotted airflow on the bottom of the coils. One of them, I think personally, the airflow controller, that, that should just be a wide open slot because Yes, it's not a cloud truck and tank. Yes, it's for flavour, but it's a little bit too restrictive. So I base pretty much all my RTA reviews, especially the dual coilers, on this little fella. Oh, on this little fella. This is the Kylan 2 by Vandy Vape, and in my opinion, it is the best RTA. Mainstream mass manufactured mass produced rta on the market it takes every single box for me to be honest with you so i do base a lot of rta's on that so and it is i do find that when i'm trying to have a vape on it, it it's it's not effortless like you do have to pull you do have to pull a hell of a lot of restriction through it um, whereas with like the Kylan, it's just as soon as you press the button, your mouth is filled with vapour. With this, it is a little bit more of a challenge. Um, so I do think that if the airflow controller was completely wide open, just a big slot, and then you had the restriction on the bottom, then restriction on the side, that would open up the airflow a hell of a lot more. Yes, I know that it's not being designed for massive amounts of vapour, loads of airflow, but it's designed to be a restrictive tank, and I do like restrictive tanks, but... That's a bit too much in my opinion. That is a little bit too much restriction. It ultimately makes the vape a hell of a lot hotter than it needs to be. Um, to the point where I've now got two tanks because Aneth had one as well. And it was just too hot of a vape for it. It really was too hot of a vape for it. It's a weird one. It really is a weird one with this because there is air hitting the coils on every which direction apart from the very top. But that airflow was very restrictive. So like... There is a lot of airflow, but it's really hard to vape it, if that makes sense whatsoever. Now, I've been sitting on this tank. I've had this tank for nearly a month now. Um, and Because at first, I really, really did like it. I, I loved everything about it. I'm a big fan of the Bogan. Do you know what I mean? So, like, the more I used this tank, the more I was disenchanted by it. Um to the point where like I, I don't think it's a great tank at all it's not a bad tank and if you do really like your restrictive airflow it, it's a good tank it really you know what i mean but like it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me at all now with a single coil with a single coil the airflow is a hell of a lot better it really is a hell of a lot better um, and i think that if the airflow controller on the base was completely wide open. You'd get that kind of flavour from a sing that kind of airflow from a single coil in a dual coil setup. But with the single coil for setup, I do find obviously it goes without saying that there's going to be less flavour from a single coil. But I do find the flavour to be muted rather than less flavour in this tank. Now overall, the flavour in the tank it it, it is good. It, it's different. It, it hits different flavour notes. But it's it's not dripper like flavour at all. It's I don't know. <laughs> like it's odd. Do you know what I mean? Like I have had better t other tanks this year with better flavour than what the blotter was, which I am quite disappointed to say. I am a little bit gutted about that, to be honest with you. But overall, it's not a bad tank. Like it looks gorgeous. It really does look gorgeous. And I'm not a fan of straight glasses at all. I do like me bubble glasses. But, like the two of them together, like they do both look nice. And it's mad how different it looks when you've got a bubble glass on it and when you've got the straight glass. Um, that completely and utterly changes the um, 
the appearance of the tank, to be honest. But uh, overall, if I was going to rate this a 6 out of 10, it doesn't tick the boxes for me. It doesn't. It doesn't excite me, and I, I have found that using it after like the weak point. As I say, when I first got it, I really, really enjoyed it. I really did. But then, as I got to testing it rather than just using it, like I did, my opinions did change on it quite severely, to be honest with you. So yeah, a six out of ten is what it's getting from me. You've got to say it how you see it. But if you do like a restrictive tank, it's you know a really restrictive tank. It's gonna be. It might be an ideal tank for you, to be honest with you. Um, but it's, 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 not, it's not for me at all. So, yeah. These have been the Blottos. I am Bo. We are the Vapory. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe and ding that little bell notification button if you haven't already done so. And down in the um, description will be a link to come and join my little group. Hashtag Vapunks. Come and get involved with all the um, laughs and come and get to know me a little bit more. And for you as subscribers to get to know each other a little bit more. Um, there's some good laughs in there at the moment. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything from me. Thank you very much for watching guys. Bye.